and welcome to Web TV, your first stop for the latest gadget news. Now here's Dion with an update of what's been dominating the world of tech this week. Coming up on today's gadget news, it's all about E3. That's right, the world's press descended on LA for the world's biggest gaming exhibition. And we've got all the very latest right here on Web TV. And first up, the big news from Sony is that they unveiled the PS Vita, their new portable gaming device. On first look, the PS Vita looks slick and stylish with the usual PS controls. And the 5-inch OLED multi-touch display will hopefully give improved quality. But it's the new tech features on the inside where the PS Vita really comes into its own. With Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi in 3G versions, you've got the ability to find and take on other gaming opponents anywhere in the world, wherever you are. Although there is no 3D capability, the multi-touch screen is a welcome addition and the inclusion of a rear touchpad will hopefully give greater interaction, control and enhanced gameplay. The PS Vita includes motion control via the six axis sensors and an accelerometer, but the biggest development is the front and rear facing cameras. These will allow you to combine the real world with the gaming world with augmented reality gaming. Now, it's been five years since gaming giant Nintendo announced the Wii, so E3 waited eagerly to see if they would unveil a new console. And Nintendo didn't disappoint as they announced the new Wii U. All of your existing Wii games and controllers like the balance board will be compatible, but it's the innovative and unique control system that really got heads turning. Nintendo say the controller's 6.2-inch multi-touch screen that can communicate wirelessly with the console will give you the ability to view and play games like never before, as you can use your TV screen and the controller screen at the same time during gameplay. But the multi-touch screen can also be used on its own too, either for surfing the web or making video calls with the front-facing camera. As for games, major developers will be bringing big gaming titles to the Wii U, so you hardcore gamers can experience the likes of Assassin's Creed, Darksiders 2 and Tekken on the new innovative console. Now, it's not just hardware tech that was hitting the headlines at E3. There have also been some hot new gaming titles announced. EA announced Battlefield 3, which will feature all new first-person shooter multiplayer modes. And the Call of Duty series continues with Modern Warfare 3. The action-packed first-person shooter will enable players to dive underwater and resurface in a war-torn New York City. But the biggest games to be announced were by Nintendo, and it's the Super Mario brand that's set to get even bigger, but this time in 3D. Super Mario is an attractive combination of 2D and 3D, whilst Mario Kart now allows you to equip your kart with a hand glider wing so you can race it through the air. You can even turn it into a mini-sub to compete in underwater races. Well, that's all for now, but all next week, we'll be bringing you exclusive interviews, previews and all the very best gaming action from E3, right here on Web TV. So make sure you check out our E3 special section of this website.